Welcome back to News Now on PNC. In a move that many Republicans say would lower shipping costs and help those living in the U.S. territories, U.S. Senator John McCain has filed an amendment to repeal the Jones Act. The Jones Act requires that ships carrying goods to Guam and other U.S. territories be U.S. made, U.S. flagged, and U.S. owned. On the Senate floor last week, McCain said the Jones Act hinders free trade, stifles the economy, and hurts consumers largely for the benefit of labor unions. While he did not name Guam during his floor statement, McCain said repealing the Jones Act would be beneficial to the insular areas. Why do U.S. consumers, particularly those in Hawaii, Alaska, and Puerto Rico, need to pay for ships that are five times more expensive? If there was a law that long ago outlived its usefulness, if it ever had any, it's the Jones Act. On the Jones Act, it's time to change course today. And to watch McCain's remarks on the Jones Act, visit our website at pacificnewscenter.com. In his weekly address, Governor Eddie Calvo touted the work of Chamorro Land Trust Commission, Hagatnya Redevelopment, and the construction of the Tizen Gym. Today, the governor announced that 15 families will be receiving either residential or agricultural property from the Chamorro Land Trust Commission this week. He also says that the Department of Land Management has issued more than 280 agricultural and residential leases covering more than 230 acres in the last four years. He says this represents an opportunity to make the dream of home ownership a reality, and he says it will be good for agriculture on Guam. The governor also spoke about the plans to revitalize the capital city of Hagatnya through projects like rebuilding the governor's palace. The governor also touted the groundbreaking on the construction of the Teeds and Gym. I will work with my fiscal team and our partner, Cortec, to add outdoor athletic facilities. And this will give the Titans access to outdoor track and fields for running, soccer, rugby, football, and other sports. The governor says he will continue to work to improve the island's public schools as DPW, DOE, GIDA, and the new AG are working on the $100 million RFP for schools. The Mayor's Council of Guam officially swore in their officers during a ceremony on Sunday. Down in the southern village of Umatic, Aganya Heights Mayor Paul McDonald was sworn in as president and Tamuning Mayor Luis Rivera as vice president. Agate Mayor Carol Tayama as Secretary, Senahanya Vice Mayor Rudy Iriarty as Treasurer, and Aganya Mayor Johnny Cruz as Sergeant at Arms. Governor Eddie Calvo was in attendance and he congratulated the island's mayors for doing so much with so little in the way of resources. With you, the mayors, whatever we do in terms of giving you resources, you seem to find the best way to do something at the least, least cost. The governor said he looks forward to working with the mayor's council and their new officers over the next couple of years. In January has been declared as Stalking and Human Trafficking Awareness and Prevention Month at a proclamation signing this morning. Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio and U.S. Attorney Alicia Limtiaco were joined by several advocacy groups to help raise awareness about and combat the crimes of human trafficking and stalking. Tenorio says it's important the community learn that these two crimes often go unreported. Governor Cabo strongly encourages all of you and all Guamanians and our families to band together and raise awareness about these heinous crimes against humanity. Governor Calvo urges residents to reach out to victims and show them there is support and help available for them. This is our island. We will not allow fear in our community. We will not stand idly by as the basic human rights of others are destroyed. U.S. Attorney Alicia Limtiaco says the Guam Human Trafficking Task Force is 90 members strong with subcommittees including victim services, crisis intervention and outreach and research. She says their office will continue to enforce laws that make sure the most vulnerable people in our community are protected. Miss Guam Universe Brittany Bell competed in the 63rd annual Miss Universe pageant today. 
Although she did not place, she was named as a top contender in several blogs and online magazines. Her national costume was also a favorite in Us Weekly magazine, a popular celebrity magazine published all over the world, as well as on CNN. Interesting to note is that Miss Philippines, Mary Jean Lastimosa, made it into the top ten category, but she did not place in the top five. The top five contestants were Miss Jamaica, Miss Netherlands, Miss Ukraine, Miss Colombia, and Miss USA. Miss USA, Nia Sanchez, was the first runner-up, and Miss Colombia, Polina Vega, was crowned Miss Universe 2015. All right, congratulations to all the Miss beauty Universe. queens beauty and, and Miss Bell. And good job to yeah. Miss Bell for representing Guam out there Absolutely. on the big stage. All right, well, coming up next, we have Joanna O with weather. Beginning of the year, I promised myself that I will work out faithfully this year, but uh, so far, I have not gone to gym one time at all. Like, not even one time. <laughs> it's okay, I'll start next week, or that's next month, all right? Um, I'll just start working out starting March. <laughs> now I'm going today. I hope your New Year's resolution is also happening. Welcome to PNC's weather forecast. I'm Joanna L. Today's forecast is pretty simple. A shear line is leaving north of the Marianas and is diffusing, while there is no sign of another shear line approaching. So we got pretty dry weather for this week. Earlier today, we were looking at east winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. But as a shear line is moving further, we're looking at reduced wind. For tonight as well as next two days, expect east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Skies will be partly cloudy with isolated showers for the three-day forecast as temperatures will be around 77 to 88 as you can see here on the slides. That's it for me, but stay tuned on PNC for more on sports with my friend Blake.